It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Witchwood Brewery and it's a bottle of their Dice Man Stout. Coming in at 5% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's a look at the label. Here's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Now, I'm interested in this when I picked it up because I always feel with the regional brewers their strongest points are generally when they brew a stout. Any of them for me. Fuller's best beer is a stout. Brains' best beer is a stout. Marston's best beer, beer. Could it be a stout? Could be. This is Witchwood Brewery, owned by Marston's. Uh, Green King, they, they produce a stout. It was pretty decent. Shepherd Neem, they're double stout. It's not bad. It's okay. If there's one thing a, a, a regional brewer can do, they, they can brew a stout. Because they have these old record books that they can go through. Because they're such old breweries, they can go through their logs and see how they produce stout an X amount of years ago, 50, 60, maybe 70 years ago. And by using that, that, that log book, by using that old in, uh, recipe um, from one of their old head brewers from long, long, long time back, they, they, they can just pull something out of the hat and produce something pretty decent. So my expectations for this beer isn't gonna be like wild, wildly like, wow, this is gonna be incredible, but I'm hoping it's gonna be good. It's got a two finger, slightly off white head. Jet black beer in the glass. There's a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass. So you can see it there on the side there. It's like a ruby colored hue. So not a jet, jet black stout, but it's, it's got nice head retention, good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. I would say if I'm gonna be critical at this point, I think the head could be a little bit more of a coffee color. But let's get the aroma. There's definitely the aroma of roasted malt. A little bit of chocolate, coffee, caramel going on. I picked this up in, in Morrison's as part of the four for six pound range. Slightly kind of hoppy on the back end, a little bit of kind of blueberry, blackberry aromas coming through. Some toffee. Touch of pipe tobacco smoke. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, it's like a, it's like a cross between a, a dark ruby mild and a stout. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. <clears throat> Only because I love Ruby Mild. One of my favorite beers back in the day was a beer called Ruby Mild. Oh, what was the brewery? They're around the Leeds area. Rud Rudgate. Rudgate's Ruby Mild. What a beer that is. That is inc it's, it's an incredible beer. They sell lots of it. It's a classic dark mild. Ruby kind of dark mild. Lots of kind of toasty flavors, roasty flavors. And this, this beer comes, I mean, I have not had Rudgate's Ruby Mild for a long time, but this is 
coming close. This is this is coming close. I'm, I'm rather impressed by this beer from from Witchwood and Marston's. Granted, it's a little bit thin for a stout. It's not really big, bold, and fat, and 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 sticks to your gums type stout. Lots of oats in there. Um, lots of maybe a touch of lactose and loads of oats. It's, it's not that type of stout. It's more of a kind of a a refreshing, but still a a, a decent amount of body in the stout. I think this is one of the best beers which would have produced in a long time, in a long time. And I think this is, this is Witchwood Stroke Marston's reacting to what's going on in the supermarkets right now with the amount of canned craft beers, your three pound cans of craft beer. And I wonder if they'll ever look to reposition Witchwood or Ringwood or Jennings, one of their kind of smaller regional brands into that kind of 440 milliliter, three pound can of craft beer. If I was to hedge my bets on, on, on Marston's using one of their sub brands to, to put into a 440 can, I reckon it would be Witchwood. I reckon like produce Hobgoblin how it used to be produced in a 440 milliliter can. Um, give this a little bit more body, a little bit more body in this beer, a little bit more of a roasted flavour. Maybe stick that in a in, in a can for, for for three pound a can. But then again, then again, it, it, it's drinking okay. Not everybody wants to pay three pounds for a can of craft beer when this is pretty reasonable when it's pretty reasonable good head retention carbonation as you rock the beer back and forth you can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass I think which would have worked really hard on this I think they've worked really really hard on this to get to get it to be tasting pretty decent for for it comes in four bottles for six pounds so if you bought that in a deal you're paying one pound fifty for this stout and that that's not bad it's pretty cheap for that and you're getting a, a pretty okay beer for this for your money in fact if you bought it as part of that deal it's exactly half it's a 500ml bottle, so you're getting more beer, and it's half the price of a £3 can of beer in Morrison's. Well, I mean, it won't touch uh, Northern Monk's um, The North Star Imperial Stout. It won't touch that, because that's double the price, and it's a 440ml can. You're getting less beer. By far one of the best, if not the best, stout, Imperial Stout in a supermarket right now. Northern Monk's North Star. But this... For the half the price, it's a pretty decent beer. I'd definitely buy it again. If I was having a, I, I like to have a Sunday day drink every now and again with my mate Chris Real Alien 140. And we'll do a session and I'll do a couple of IPAs, kind of pale ales and a couple of tributes, that sort of thing. And, and then maybe polish it off with a couple of stouts at the end of the night and this being one of them. A Dice Man Stout. It's not bad. Let's read the description then. Go all in with Dice Man. Jet Black Silky Smooth Stout. A bold combination of dark malts. Creates a smoky aroma of toffee and plums. I picked that up on the back end. I called it... Um, I think I called it plums, to be honest. Expect a warming flavour of licorice and dried fruits with an alluring cocoa sweetness and a bitter coffee finish. An odds on favourite. I'm gonna rate that. I'm gonna rate that. I've had I've had much worse stouts in my glass. 
Um, I've had stouts that have been really thin and they've been really hoppy, lots and lots of plum and fig and prune, so they've had too much kind of too much of a hop character and not enough roasted malt. Um, I've had I've had stouts that have been too bitter for the for the ABV, but this this has got the balance right between nice roasted coffee chocolate caramel hop characters. It's slightly thin, but there is still a body there on the beer. And you can hear the carbonation as well, a little bit of carbonation there, pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. And there's a, there's, there's a touch of plum and prune and fig, so a little bit of kind of a hoppy back end going on. Yeah, it's a decent beer, I'm going to rate it. Witchwood Brewery's Dice Man Stout, 5% ABV. For the money, for your £1.50, as long as you buy it as part of a 4 for 6. Uh, as and of course the date I'll give you the date because you might be watching this video in five years time thinking I can't get a four for six now um, it is the 11th of October 2020 um, so bear the date in mind when you're watching this video I give it gonna give it an eight out of ten it's an eight out of ten for me and craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers